Hey there awesome people, how are you guys doing? So this is your Vbro from Tech Weekend. So today in this video, I'll be showing you how you can optimize your low-end PC for playing your favorite video games. And this is a pretty much big issue that is faced by a lot of people out there. Even I consider myself to be a low-end PC gamer because my computer isn't that much powerful enough to play all the AAA titles with decent performance. Like some of the games don't even run on my computer, so I do consider myself as a low-end PC user. But before starting the video, I would like to show that only 0.8% of you guys are subscribed to my channel. So if you you really like this content please do consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps me a lot well basically gaming on a low-end pc may not deliver you the set same satisfaction that a gaming pc does and that's for sure because you're gonna get really less performance but these few optimizations which i'll be discussing in the video will give you better performance than what you're getting right now these optimizations can at least ensure you playable frame risk. Like, and meanwhile, you may experience a bit of degraded graphics quality or visuals things. Uh, that's because of uh, like optimizations and high shadow settings and overall high graphic settings, including features like VSync and all the features, really drastically loads the system overall and resulting into thermal throttling and FPS drops and other sorts of problem. Now, this is only because your system is not powerful enough. People do consider using SSDs and similar fast storage solutions to eliminate FPS drop, but that doesn't work because SSD only improves the loading speed, not your gameplay. Upgrading your computer components can be a bit hell, but it needs a huge amount of money. And also, if you have a laptop, the upgrading process or the upgrading uh, options are pretty much narrow. So, Let's start with the first option in this video about like eliminating some of the lag for the low end PC is turning on the system ultimate performance mode. By default, your computer runs on the power, like the balanced power consumption program, which can be changed via the control panel. The balanced programs uh, like al allows the system to use energy as power as requirements which directly involves the components like storage, graphics card, etc. The ultimate performance program enables the system to consent constantly run on high power, meanwhile delivering increased performance. Well, to enable ultimate performance mode, what you need to do is just go ahead and hit the start and then type in CMD. Right click on CMD and run it as administrator. And after running CMD as administrator, what you need to do is just paste this code. Don't worry, check in the des video description, you're gonna find this code. Now, after that, just hit enter and then close CMD. After that, just you need to do is just press the Windows button on your keyboard along with the I. You need to press the both buttons simultaneously. And then you, what you need to do, this screen appears and then go to system option. Navigate to power and sleep option. Click the additional power settings options on the bottom extreme right. Click on show additional plans and select ultimate performance and it's done. After that, you can just go ahead and enjoy your games and I am pretty sure you're going to get some or drastic amount of FPS boost after this process. All right, so now let's try the second option or the second method. Well, these, this method is to switch the graphics settings to performance mode from quality mode. By default, graphics settings are set to either balanced or quality mode. These settings can be changed by navigating to graphics driver properties or its control panel. Intel users can right click on the desktop to change the graphics properties to performance. Nvidia and AMD users can follow the same process after clicking on the Nvidia or AMD control panel. These steps will be different from users to users because some users might have Nvidia as well as others might have AMD or some of you might have Intel. So these process might be a bit different. Well, generally just right click anywhere on your desktop screen Select Intel Graphics Properties, NVIDIA Control Panel, AMD Control Panel, whatever you have. Navigate to your Graphics Properties until you see something like Graphics Mode or Graphics Processing 
or maybe it might be as global graphics. Change the default settings to performance and there you go. Now you can just go ahead and try it out with your games and this will, of course, if the slider or the option is set to default and if you go ahead and do the performance mode, there will be significant performance in your video games. The third option that we have is to turn off unnecessary application. Right after you turn on your computer, many apps starts with the system startup. Some are unnecessary for the system, like for example the antivirus program or stuff like that, while the others are not useful. Maybe like Adobe Reader or something like that, I don't know. Turning on this application will free up more of your RAM, ultimately resulting in increased gaming performance. Well, for to do that, just right click on your taskbar down below, click on Task Manager, and after that, click on More Settings, and just find out the unnecessary applications like Google Chrome or something like that that is running in your background. Just right click on the application, click and task. These will really free up your memory or your RAM, and it can be really helpful for playing video games. The fourth option or the fourth method is to change the game's priority to high. After you launch a game, its prior priority is set to balance or normal by default. Switching it to high priority after launching the game will ensure that the system will run the pr program giving it highest priority in most cases. This helps to get more FPS out of the system as the system gives more importance to that software. After you launch a game, its priority is set to balance or normal by default. Switching it to high priority after launching the game will ensure that the system will run the program, giving it to highest priority. Well, this is be working because like, as you put the program to highest priority, the system will give more importance to the software and hence you can get better performance out of that software. Well, in order to do that, hit the Windows button along with the D after you run a game and then run Task Manager. Right click on the game application and then, and then go to Details. Yeah. Now, right click on the game application, navigate to the Priority option and click on High Priority from the menu. In this way, you have successfully set the priority of your software or your game to highest priority and hence you can improve your gameplay performance. And the third or, or the fifth one, I'm sorry, the fifth option will be lowering your screen resolution, shadows and other settings inside your game. Effects like shadows, reflection, high details use a massive amount of power and a low end PCs aren't capable enough to handle all tasks at once. Turning off shadows and other high graphics related settings will degrade the visuals of course, but it will make the game run much smoother. After you have launched a game, just navigate to the graphics settings, select the resolution option and then change it to low preset. And also you can find the shadows and other graphics related details like uh, you can just go ahead and lower the settings. You can try reducing the DirectX version in the game if it is available. Like if you are having um, this option inside your game, you should definitely go ahead and reduce the DirectX version. The sixth one or the sixth option is to update your graphics driver. Latest graphics drivers updates can completely change your gaming experience. Updates include the latest version of the drivers along with new features, fixes, optimizations and patches. These updates very often optimize the game compatibility and just overall improves the gaming performance. Head over to Intel Graphics Properties or NVIDIA Control Panel or AMD Radeon settings and navigate to Update section and update your driver. For example, like for me, I have the NVIDIA graphics card, so for that there is a GeForce Experience software. You can just go ahead and install it and open it up and there you can just go ahead and download the latest version of a uh, driver that is available for my graphics card. Well, these are the working tweaks that which will like seriously drastically improve your FPS and making your game run much smoother. So that if this video really helped you guys, please do consider subscribing to my channel as well as like this video as it really, really helps me a lot. Well, this is Vibro signing out from this video. Have a great day. 
God bless you all and I will be seeing you around. Thank you for watching. Peace.